literally like we are <laughs> societal we live in huge <laughs> cities with millions of people we and live yet we're in a so society so true <laughs> we're so afraid of <laughs> talking to anybody yeah wow Ethan, great movie also, here's something that blew my mind now. We had a similar debate about wiping. We found out that some people wipe from the front and some people wipe from the back and they don't know each other. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, so here's another thing that's apparently blowing my mind. Why, what, this guy tweeted out, my wife said that introverts have to plan their conversations in advance. Is this true? And a lot of comments are like, yeah, I have to... Conversation hack, ask questions, but apparently a lot of people say, yes, I do that. I don't even understand how that's possible. How do you plan a conversation in advance? Uh, you have a show document for a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're... Well, I mean, I guess I... I I'm, do. I'm, yeah, I, I guess, like... I mean, I'm an introvert, I guess yeah. you could say, and mm -hmm. I, I do that. I, it's not like it's like fully scripted, but I, yeah. I'll think through yeah. like what a... Com how... The conversation will go yeah. before going and engaging with somebody. Yeah, that. my brain will like present me with possible options, and I like beforehand will think about how. So, like, you, <laughs> like, should I comment about this or yeah, you know, should I? Well, hold on. Mention? Are we talking about like, let's say you're having a family gathering? Mm -hmm. Yeah, or yeah. a friend. Do you say okay? I'm going to say hi. Or you're going to go to a friend's house. That's yeah. better because you're familiar with them. So do you think ahead of time, like, I want to, this is what I'm going to ask my friend when I'm with her to because avoid it being awkward? I think because sometimes, like, people like us, I think I'm one of those, is, like, you can end up having, when you leave the room, like, we could all, me, you, and somebody else, okay, be together. <laughs> as long as you're in the room, it's all good. Once you go to the bathroom, it gets awkward. Yeah, but that's not and so, like, that happens some, to me sometimes. Somebody like me sometimes have to like try to plan to avoid that awkwardness. Mm -hmm. But how far ahead are you planning? Yeah, I totally get it too. And not like planning fully, but... Yeah, it's not just, fully planning. Yeah, or at least if you have an idea of what topics you want to talk about and then what you want to say about those yeah. topics. So my question is though, when does this planning occur? Before you go over to their um, house? Like how far ahead of time are you planning this? If I'm talking to like an acquaintance who i haven't seen in a minute and they're mm -hmm. like we should grab lunch mm -hmm. or we should do coffee mm -hmm. i don't know if extroverts feel this way too but I, i'll feel like dread or panic because yes. it's like me too i'm yeah. about to spend time with someone who i don't necessarily know yes how well we vibe off of each other so i'll think of things that like we have in common or oh i saw that she went to this place a few months ago so if i if i need to i'll be sure to ask about that right yeah. I never thought, I've never had a thought like that in my whole life. Yeah, because hmm. you're the one that when you enter the room, everything is fine. Yeah, you're not us. an introvert <laughs> by any means. You are you know, definitely that's an funny. introvert. I, I, didn't, I know people are going to think this is crazy, but I feel like in my private life, I'm pretty introverted. <sighs> I know what you mean, but you're I, not. <laughs> I don't, I, I, I'll be honest, like at home when there's family or friends over and stuff and we're just hanging out, I don't like conversations. But like you I can don't if like, you wanted to. I don't like talking to people. Beers well, with friends. And yeah. like, with, when I'm at the doctor or the dentist or the grocery store, I'm giving one word answers because I don't like, I don't like small talk. I hate it actually. Something that I learned that I actually didn't know is that an introvert means that, it doesn't mean that you don't like talking to people in public. It just means that your yeah. energy source comes from, like you need to recharge yourself and be alone. Oh, and extroverts really? get energy off of others. See, I don't get energy off others. Others mm. drain me. Mm. Interesting. Well, maybe you are introverted then. Huh? But like, it's just, I don't know, maybe, <laughs> maybe for me it's a mix when it comes to you because you're also just like naturally funny. So you can make every situation like, effortlessly just kind of funny <laughs> and so maybe it's a mix i don't know i don't I know the right girl <laughs> but you know like when i used to have a job and i would go and do like whatever office job or restaurant or whatever it is i was doing i was always super quiet i wasn't like cracking jokes and stuff really i, I don't, don't know i don't so. know i was just doing my work and then i would fucking go home i don't know if that's how it's perceived others i should we should ask someone who was like sean balog was there with me a lot of the time oh yeah the message him now he doesn't he, i don't think he thinks about it that deeply you know what i mean <laughs> oh yeah you were pretty quiet at work well you did the myers-briggs test and you were 
an introvert on that because we had the same we had the same one and I'm an introvert. The Myers Brooks. That's thing? the the four the letters. With all the letters. We did that like stuff. right when I started, I think. I don't remember anything no. about that. Well, letters. you we scored all did an a, We all did a personality test. You had to answer a bunch of questions, and then it came up with like they're all like I G. Blah, blah. I, I that well, that was the one we did with Doctor Drew. No, no that was oh. later. I'm definitely an introvert too. I would say, and then something that helps me that AB kind of helped me out with is if I don't know what to talk about, I will just ask questions. Oh. Mm. That's you, always helpful. You gave away the sauce. I mean, that's that's <laughs> wow. But no, it, it wow. What so well now what the yeah. fuck are we gonna do? <laughs> if yeah, it was our only trick. For someone else, I, you know, that would be great if it can help anybody else. <laughs> I hate fucking small talk, and I I envy I people it. who could keep it up. That's my one trick: is oh, ask, ask questions. Okay, give a fuck, but. Uh. I have to switch up the game. I now. try to just end it, man. I don't even. I don't think I even have the energy to <laughs> pretend that I care. You say that, but I've seen you interact with like yeah, I running know. into fans on the street all the time, and you're really good at, at yeah. oh, well, at doing that. You know, I, I will say, I love being, meeting fans though. That's I love them. I, you know, I, yeah. I'm happy. To I love say them hi. too, yeah. but it can be awkward even with a fan, and for you, yeah. it's not going to be. Okay. And I'd be like, so. Nice to see you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I know what you mean. I mean, you're obviously more. I guess I don't know. You have. Uh, it's a lot the of anxiety. Don't I yeah, guess yeah, it's yeah. just anxious. Yeah. Okay. There it is. <laughs> this is my burden. <laughs> Isn't it funny though? Like we're social creatures. Literally, like we are societal. We live in huge fucking cities with millions of people. We and live yet we're in a so society. So true. <laughs> we're so afraid of fucking talking to anybody. Yeah. Oh my god, I have a good example of that actually. Um, so I did a Miss Michigan pageant before. You did what? Yeah. Hold up. <laughs> Hold. Yeah. Back Hold it up. on. Back it tell the story. Up. Tell the story. Talking the about story. talking points to bring up. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not so much about the whole pageant, just like this specific moment I remember because it was so embarrassing. Wait, how but did you place? I didn't win. There's only like there's only a. She win. got I second like place, but she got <gasps> robbed. Well, that was you a were second Lena, place. Though? That was a different pageant. What? That wasn't uh. Miss Michigan. Wait, you I, I, mean, you I need to know everything. One? The whole thing that I need to learn. I need about. to know everything. Okay, wait, wait, hold on. Before you say anything, <laughs> how many pageants have you competed in? Like four. <gasps> Yeah, four. And have you won any? I did. I won. <laughs> I on. won two of them, and then another one. I came second runner up, but it was rigged, and I I found really? out it was rigged. I know so the awkward <laughs> story is because when you do the interview, when you're on stage with the judges, um, and they give you an idea of like what kind of questions they'll be asking. They won't tell you exactly what, but I knew that one que one question I kind of prepared for, but not so much is that. Um, what did they say? Oh, just making a difference in the world or something along that, those lines. And so when I went up there, my question was, what would you, um, oh, what's your goal in life? And I said, because I, I figured they might ask something like that, I said, um, to make a difference in the world before I leave it. And what threw me off then, they asked me, and how do you plan to do that? <laughs> Which isn't a hard question to answer. Um, I could have just given like another generic answer, like my first one. Um, but just because it threw me off and I just kind of froze. I didn't know how oh, to no. respond. No. And yeah, and it completely went blank. Oh, so no. that's it, what, like, it's helpful to at least get an idea or prepare in advance. Yeah.